<laughs> hello, hello. Long time no live. I'm gonna put on my glasses so I can actually read the comments. Okay, we're gonna do a sound check. You guys let me know if you can hear me or not. So, you guys ready for this? You guys know where I'm going on live, right? I think a week ago or something, I asked, I was talking about online dating and how I've been online dating for about four years. It might be five because I stopped counting. <laughs> um, so I asked everybody if they had any crazy online dating stories. Um, and so here we are. I got some great responses and I read through all of them. Sorry if I didn't get back to you, but I saved a bunch of them. And I've come down to um, 18 top 18 stories so i'm going to be reading them today and i guess just reacting to them <laughs> and i'll i'll tell you some of my um worst online dates too all right how many of you are single here or how many have you been online dating any success stories here because <laughs> i'm still here i'm still single <laughs> okay let's without further ado i'm gonna start with the first one okay it's like no particular order i think it's in the order of um how i screenshotted things okay so this person said i once met a guy on hinge we talked one night all night so i thought that was cool okay and then a few days later when we met up for dinner by the end of the date he was ready to commit and demanded that I do the same and said that if I agreed, he would want to watch me delete the app off my phone. Side note, he had also rented a hotel room across the place we had dinner. <laughs> when I said I didn't want to stay there with him, he was super creepy. Then driving home, he called me like 10 times and kept texting asking me to go back. Yikes. <laughs> How is this the first story that I'm reading? Because this is pretty bad. <laughs> so a um, few things strike me pretty weird here for me because if he just wanted sex why didn't he just say it from the get-go um, let's say he wanted to like trick this girl into having sex because he was clearly focused on it he like booked a hotel room then why did he want the girl to like commit and delete the app in front of him isn't that so weird? Yeah. Okay, someone said it sounds possessive. Absolutely possessive. Uh, it was just so strange to me. I don't know if it's because I'm in New York and people are up front. I feel like here, if you want to sleep with someone, if you want to one night send, you're like pretty clear about it. And it's the ethical thing to do, right? A lot of people, I feel like, are willing to um, have a one night stand. And if that's what you want, you kind of link up and do it. You don't have to trick somebody into it like this. This is so weird. <laughs> okay. Whoever sent me this, I am sorry you went through this. And good riddance. Sometimes it's, I'll say this again and again tonight, but sometimes it's a blessing when like the weirdness or like the abnormality shows too soon. It's like better to know right away than later so you can say goodbye. Okay, next one. <laughs> Will you keep this live? Yeah, I'm recording this live, so um, yep, I'll be posting it. Um, my first Tinder experience after a three-year relationship, I went on a date with a guy who, one, asked me if I'd ever heard of Greece, and when I said I lived in Europe, got annoyed, and two, played Elon Musk interviews to set the mood. I refused to accept Elon and Joe as a new thing. <laughs> okay yeah he sounds really condescending but just like i think this person is a funny person <laughs> elon and chill <laughs> mm, yeah i don't know i think he wait someone said why do business guys love elon so much i guess this is like a popular topic that guys are actually into and they might like want to bring up a elon musk interview during a date i mean it could be interesting i read his auto not auto i read his biography and it could be an interesting topic but turning on a podcast by him is really not the way to go <laughs> okay next <clears throat> i got a venmo request to split the bill 
of the drinks after a mediocre date. Uh, like he insisted, I open up my Venmo app so he could scan my Venmo code. Yikes. Okay, what do you guys think about the Venmo request? Yay or nay? Um, I think most of my followers are women. Do you feel like the guy should pay for the first date no matter what? Or like, where are we on this? <clears throat> nay, you don't think I should pay? Okay, so I can share my personal preference. Um, I think up to like 27, I would always put my card down to split or like at least offer. I wasn't even the girl who would like take her time looking for her wallet. No, I always showed like clear intention, like here's my card. Um, especially if the date didn't go that well and I felt like I wasn't gonna like see him again. Um, I would always offer to split. Um, but something happened after I turned 28. I was like, I'm not paying. <laughs> I, I think maybe because I got older and the guys that I'm going on a date are also older. And I feel like now my mentality is like, oh my gosh, like I got ready. my I got lashes done, nails done, look nice and showed up to this date. Like if you can afford the dinner as the first date, uh, and you want to show me that you want to treat me well, you should pay for the date. So that's how I go about these days. And this Venmo request thing after like a mediocre date thing, oh my gosh, this would be just, if it happened to me, it would be one for the books. I would tell everybody about it and it would just not fly. Um, someone said it depends on how the date is going, but demanding, ew, yeah. Man, a Venmo request is not the way to go. Here's the thing, it's a small world. So if you're in a big city like New York, I feel like word goes around and people like, you know, word will go around about you too. Um, okay, someone said, I think paying is great as a guy, but if she orders more than me, I am not covering that shit. <laughs> what time is it over here? It's 11 p.m. in New York. Broke guys can just ask to go to the park for a walk. Mm, yeah, I feel like if you're broke, I'll pay for your dinner. <laughs> just tell me you're broke. I like a guy who can admit that he's broke right now. I don't know. Um, all right, guys, next one. I want to share about a very spontaneous experience I got from Tinder. I just started texting this guy at around 7 p.m. on a weekday and we were quite hitting it off. Around 10, he asked how spontaneous I was feeling. So I said, try me. I love being spontaneous. So he asked me out for drinks. We went bar hopping and ended up at a bar slash arcade hybrid. We made out all night, took shots, played video games. It was so magical to me. Oh, it sounds so magical. At the end of the night, we held hands, went back to his place, hooked up, and then he ghosted me. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> what? Wow. This really does sound like a magical date. I wonder why the guy ghosted her. Maybe that's just like what he really wanted. He just wanted a crazy fun night and then he just didn't want to talk to her ever again. I mean, it does sound like the good time was mutual, but I don't know. Sometimes people aren't looking some anything serious. It's a shame though. If you had such a good connection, wouldn't you want it again and again? That's the thing. Um, I feel like sometimes now that I've had that kind of magical connection experience, almost like love at first sight, um, and it was like a magical first date, sometimes I feel like magic can be kept as magic and um, keeping it as like a momentary memory is not bad either. I don't know. Someone said, I feel like some people put up a facade during dates just so they don't make the other person feel bad. And I think that happened here. Really? You? I don't know. I don't really get people who like stay the whole date 
and hook up when they don't really enjoy the date? Like, is it because they were really just wanting the hook up so they endured whatever they didn't enjoy during the day or the night? Come on. For me, I feel like I hate wasting time. So I feel like um, when I get the feeling in the beginning of the date that this is not going to work, I try to end the date early. But what a shame. I feel like it could still be like a good memory. It's a funny story. I keep telling people online dating is great to have all these stories built up under your belt so you can tell them later. <laughs> I don't know if it's good for actually dating a partner. Um okay someone said going out is a learning experience and every new person is a new learning curve eternally awkward <laughs> so guys actually i think online dating was such a positive thing for me where it kind of made me comfortable in my own skin i think before that i was pretty shy and i wasn't like willing to talk to strangers and um or like willing to put myself out there but online dating really made me kind of like comfortable in my own skin i'm like able to be myself be myself in front of basically anyone that i meet and then also develop like an eye for like oh who's a good person for me or yada yada so anyways i'll read the next story um next one hello so the dude went sorry what's your name halfway through the date and had the cheek to tell me this feels like fate a few moments later red flag dude also sent me all the way to school when i told him bye like four times on our way there so he followed you to your school when you said bye um parentheses he was supposed to drop me off at another station but ended up um coming to my station taking the bus to my school and asked me whether i wanted him to accompany me as i do my school work this was the first date okay red flags here i feel like this is not a date this is kind of borderline kidnap slash stalker <gasps> guys stay safe out there it's not good yeah here's the thing about online dating too you don't know who you're gonna get so we gotta do our due research um call up all our fbi friends who can dig up some information before we meet the guy yeah my god this sounds actually really dangerous if someone's following me when i say bye i would literally call the police someone asked which apps are the worst and best for you um so lately i've only been on hinge but i've had more success on tinder so i thought about why the reason of that might be but i think it's because on hinge so much information is there so you kind of your standards are higher but on tinder there's limited information so you're most more likely to swipe right and match with somebody without like rejecting that person for something they didn't put on their profile um yeah so i went on dates pretty good dates with two people on tinder this year and they were really wholesome and nice and we almost ended up dating but it didn't work out um but i saw both of these guys for like a good month or two and yeah you just gotta be smart about it you know <sighs> please don't end up with these types of creepy guys one more all right so i am now married for three years but i went on a date four years back and he was just a graduate he graduated from a top tier engineering college for which one has to study a lot okay we like tech boys we like engineers uh, we went to a restaurant and we ordered pasta he finished his plate with only three pieces of penny pasta left when we were ready to leave he said wait let me ask the waiter to pack the remaining i was like what <laughs> he wanted to pack the three damn pasta pasta pieces <laughs> thank god that was our last date <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh poor guy he wanted to pack the three pieces why though why on a date he should have just finished it <laughs> honestly he really didn't want to waste those three pieces i don't know how do you guys feel about pack me the three penny pasta pieces yay or nay welcome to those who just joined i'm reading all my 
crazy date stories that I got through my DMs. Look at all these DMs. People sent in so many stories and I'm, <laughs> I was literally rolling on my floor laughing with some of them. They're so, so funny. Okay, so let me go back to where I left off. Next story. <laughs> My story is pretty lame, but my date came over and we were opening one of my boxes from Ikea. I'm like the type of person that really carefully opens boxes. I always have nice clean cuts where things should be cut and I open flaps that should open. I never tip through. Oh, I never rip through cardboard or anything. But this girl got frustrated seeing me be careful with the box, so she freaking grabs it from the middle and aggressively rips it apart, completely shredding the box apart with her bare hands. <laughs> I have never been so instantly turned off. <laughs> to be honest, it's probably something that bothers me a lot more than it bothers other people, but yeah, I cannot date aggressive box openers. <laughs> I feel like this is a legitimate concern. Um, if you're like very neat and tidy, this would bother you so much. Mm, let me think. I feel like a couple years ago, I could have been the girl who was like ripping open somebody's boxes because I couldn't stand another person like being careful and neat. And now I'm more accepting <laughs> different types of people. <laughs> but I didn't realize it could like turn off people. I guess in my head, it could have worked the other way where it could have turned on somebody. This like neat and tidy um, controlling person could feel like, oh my gosh, nobody has treated me this roughly before. I'm so attracted to her. I don't know. That's my fantasy, but clearly it did not work for this person. He got completely turned off and they never met again. <laughs> Next story, I was talking to this guy for a few months on and off and then we stopped for a little and then out of the blue he reached out again and we started talking and getting more acquainted and then suddenly we're talking about him visiting me for a week and then it turns, in, turns to him visiting me for two weeks and us talking about marriage and I'm sending him pics of engagement rings I like mind you we've never met before this so without even meeting you guys are talking about marriage and sending each other pictures of rings and then he comes to visit and pops the question on the third day and now here we are seven years later and still married with two a little one and two pups <gasps> oh my god <laughs> okay someone sent like red flags but she's married for seven years. Sometimes a connection can't be denied. You guys hear about stories about like people getting connected through pen pal, right? You write letters to each other back in the day where emails weren't a thing and then they fall in love and then they meet and they get married. I guess this is something similar. Well, I'm happy for you. This is wonderful. I feel like I kept hearing stories like this during COVID though. Um, this is, I think, a rare connection, but I think it's one of those things where you kind of like, when you know it, you know it, and then they rec they both recognized it, and then they were they happen to be compatible. Um, M. J. Yang says, I'm talking to someone now on Hinge, and they are now asking me for dating advice as they talk to someone else who has told them they have no banter. Oh, strange. So sh he's talking to you like, as if you were a friend and asking for dating advice from you when you were actually like a dating match. Strange. Okay, so I think this is a nice segue into my story. Let me tell you guys about a really dumb encounter that I had online. But basically, I matched with this guy and he's like super private or whatever. He found out that I have this Cafe Maddie account and then he like started watching all my stuff and I was like, okay, but I want to know your Instagram too. And he wouldn't tell me. He's like super private or whatever, but he seems really sweet. And um, I liked his profile. He looked super cute. He's super tall and Korean. He checked off some of my boxes and I was like, okay, I need to go on a date with this guy because I'm interested. I'm into him. And we we're texting every day. Um, and we also like talk on the phone a couple of days a week, right? So we're texting every day, talking on the phone, and I, and I think I think at the time I was visiting home, so I wasn't back in the city yet. And then I was hoping that when I get back, um, 
we would meet, right? But this guy kept on texting and calling, but not asking me out on the date. So I was like, okay, that's weird. Um, I told him when I'm going to be back and like that weekend I'm available, but he still didn't like ask the question like, well, let's meet up. So I decided to ask him and I was like, hey, what are you doing on Saturday? You know, after I'm back and he goes, oh, I'm going on a date. <laughs> and then so like, I was like, okay, like I couldn't be cool with that. Like, it's not like we're dating. We haven't even met and like. I'm talking to other people as I'm talking to him too, so it's like understandable. Um, at least he was honest about it. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Like I can be cool with that. And I said, have fun. Like have fun on the date. I'll talk to you later, right? So at this time, we were t- texting every day, so it was kind of weird for me to like not hear back from him for like more than a day. So I don't hear back from him for like maybe like 24 hours or so so i'm kind of like impatient right so i text him i was like also still trying to play it cool although i'm not really cool inside Uh, i was like hey how was the date and guys let me read you guys the text (laughs) and he's like oh my god she was so charming she was so charming witty and laid back she was so cute after dinner, she invited me over for tea, and I was so ecstatic because I love tea, lol. I think it's time to delete Hinge, haha. <laughs> and he goes, how was your trip back? And oh my god. Like, hello? <laughs> I think this is like a new level of disrespect that I felt from like an online dating chat room. And I just like could not believe my eyes at what i was seeing because like why would you first of all why are you even like talking to me if you're interested in this girl and why are you telling me um in so much detail of how much you've enjoyed this date if you're interested in seeing me again um yeah i don't know guys this was like the strangest encounter that i had and i was like super offended and upset (laughs) especially because i was really interested in the guy um and he was just like absolutely clueless at what he just did to me and all i said to him back was like lol wow right and i wasn't planning on like responding anymore but after i said lol wow he sent this like emoji of this like like this face and then he was like was that was that tmi he's like was that tmi anyways what are you up to So that was the most recent, um, not, it's not anything crazy, but it just was so fucking ridiculous. So that's my story, guys. Someone said, I do not miss the apps. And yes, girl, you're not missing out. You're not missing out. Um, (laughs) let me read the next story because my story was lame and just makes me still upset. Makes me upset. (laughs) 